What is up guys? This is just a quick video today as I became aware of a better way to load Diablo 2 Resurrected mods. I'll be using this method in my next few tutorials, so I wanted to cover it quickly here. Thanks to Foxbat on the Frozen Keep forums for bringing this to my attention. So we've covered two ways of loading mods so far, using direct dash text and using dash mod. And it turns out that we can combine these methods and it results in us not having to extract 40 gigs of data files. So what we want to do is come to our Diablo 2 resurrected directory. We want to create a new folder called mods. I already have one here. In that folder, we want to create another folder with our mod name. I'm using simple here. And in that folder, we want to create another folder with your mod name .mpq. So I have simple.mpq. So instead of creating an actual mpq file, we're just naming a folder as an mpq file. And this is enough for the game. Now in that folder, we want to create a modinfo.json. And this is a very simple file. It just has your name and save path for us. So this save path is how it separates out your modded save games. Now we're just going to leave everything as simple here because that is our mod name. And you can find a template of the modinfo.json in the GitHub link in my description below. So once we have the modinfo.json created, we want to create our folder structure for our modified files, whatever files we want to actually modify. So here I have like data, global, Excel. You can see my other videos for details on what that structure should be. We can also have data, local, language, strings for item names and stuff like that. And this would be the exact same as if you were actually creating an MPQ file. So once we have that, we want to open task view. And again, this can be found in the GitHub link in my description below. We want to open storage. We're opening our Diablo 2 resurrected. And now we have our data files here. We can see data, global, Excel. We can see all our files here. I highly recommend extracting this data file guide because that has all the information you need on the different columns in these different files. So once you've identified what you want to change, just simply copy the file out of that. So if we drag the levels.txt out into our data global Excel under our simple.mpq directory, we can then just edit this file. So we can open this in Excel or D2 Excel or LibreOffice Calc, whatever tool you want to use. And we're just going to modify this slightly. We're going to change it so only quill rats are in the first area, save it. And we're going to want to keep the format that it's in. And then we go to play Diablo 2 Resurrected. So we come down here, go to game settings. We want to have dash mod, the name of our mod, which is simple in this case, dash txt and just hit play and what this will do is use the text files in that folder instead of requiring the .bin files which we haven't generated yet and in fact i'm not sure where those files generate with this method so we've loaded up our offline character and we want to just run out of here and we find the quill rat in the first area now if you remember there should be no zombies no fallen just quill rats and we've modified a couple of different things. So you can see lots of lovely uniques, some rares. Oh, look at all that loot. But it's fantastic. We haven't had to generate the bin files. We've only extracted the files we've wanted to change. And that's enough. So you can see all our lovely loot here. We've got like purple Nasher, we've got green the ward, we've got yellow goblin toes, we've got red Tyriel's might. All of that came from our modified text files and we didn't have to extract everything in that directory. So that's all I have for you today guys. I just wanted to go over it very quickly because I will be using it in my next tutorial videos and I don't want to spend the time in those videos going over it so I made this dedicated video for it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do remember to like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and I'll catch you guys in the next video.